The world isn't flat. It's highly pyramidal. You know, when I was younger, I thought I might want to be Henry Kissinger. President Emeritus Leslie Gelb of the Council on Foreign Relations, who used to be the actual president, is here tonight to speak on something about how common sense can fix our, our foreign policy or our relationship with the world. So yeah, we're here for the real common sense. Come stroll with me through the history of a word, power, through the history of an instrument, power, that was and is the principal coin of the international realm. If anything gets done, it's because of power. If problems are caused, it's because of power. If problems are solved, it's because of power. It's the heart of the matter, and yet we hardly ever think about it. It was understood, I think, much better in ancient times than it was throughout most of our history. And why I really wrote this book is, as I say in the beginning, more as a book of reminders than revelations. Reminders of what works and what doesn't, and what we've got to do now to preserve us and our values and our interest in the world. But power is highly graded still today. Uh, I do see President Obama getting drawn into an open-ended commitment. He says, He's narrowed the U.S. objective there to merely ensuring that al-Qaeda never gain, regains a foothold in Afghanistan. He talks about doing all the very same things in terms of nation building, economic and political, that Bush was talking about. So nation building is brought in through the back door. It, it, everything's upside down in our uh, foreign policy because the entire global war on terror that has just been renamed under the Obama administration continues. So we're gonna to try to ask some pointed questions, especially if he goes off and, uh, you know, uh, on some tangent about the war on terror. So military power, while still very important, has moved aside for economic power. And economic power now plays a much more central role than it ever has in history. Always was important, obviously. Military power was the storm. But as economic power came to the center stage, everything slowed down because economic power works like the tide. And you have to think of it that way, and use it that way. I hope you know that he, he'll have to respond to something, something serious. We'll see. Well, this, this will be a good uh, indicator whether these types of events uh, are going to be uh, possible for us to get good things from in the future. I believe that the future of the United States will not be determined by what happens in the mountains of Afghanistan, but by the fate of our economy and the world economy. And that must be the focus. And that's not just a matter of giving a speech or going to a G20 conference. It requires an understanding of how the government works and how it will handle the presidential policies. I thank you very much. Leslie Gelb, use real common sense or we're going to provide some for you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, as a Jewish man, and it being Passover, I think that I really feel the need that we hash out this Mossad terrorism thing. Because what, if the reason that I interject... If a half hour's conversation, no, forget about it. No, not half hour, just like a couple minutes. Mm -hmm. And let's, so, let's, so... Let's start down the track. Right? Okay, I appreciated that you brought up that Iran, you know, that they, in Tehran they held rallies in support of the United States after 9-11. And, but you all, then after that, you portrayed that as the, the lone sort of support in the Arab world for the United States after 9-11. Persians are not Arabs. Persians. Okay, I know, right, right, but, that, right, I understand that. But I mean, then after that, you, then you said that, that they were the sort of the lone in the Middle East. In that then, part of the world. Okay, all right, thank you for clarifying that. So, the reason I brought up the, they were, they were celebrating Mossad agents in New Jersey on 9-11. And so, to me, it... What did you just say? Mossad agents they were celebrating. 
in New Jersey. They were filming the, the World Trade Center in smoking ruins and celebrating. Kind of bullshit. It's not, sir. It's utter bullshit. Go looking forward. Forward is not a, a anti-Jewish rag, is it? They reported it. And uh, the thing is that you you talked about terrorism as a collective global problem. That's true. But you didn't. You failed to fill in the fact that in the post World War II era, international terrorism was driven by U.S., U.K., and Israeli uh, agents a lot of time in terms of the, the NATO bombings all over are Europe. Very difficult to to determine. Uh, but I hold those who commit the acts responsible for the acts. Even if they're right in uh, some of their complaints about Israel and Israel's treatment of the Palestinians, it does not justify the things they have done to each other. I agree with that. Of course I agree Never with that. Never forget that. I call those people un-Islamo-Nazis, but there are also Zionist nihilist supremacists and not-so-Christo, not-so-crypto-fascists, and Arabs did not do 9-11. There is a recent scientific paper published just last week that should have been on the front page of every Who newspaper. Did um, more, it, rather than Al Qaeda and Taliban, I would say CIA, we MI6, know. Mossad. Oh, they were. They, it's true, look, sir. Look, did it, did look, Osama look bin Laden point, stand down the FBI point, and the Iraq? You made your point. We thoroughly disagree. You well, have no facts to support. I do have lots more there facts than no you facts do facts to say that the so Taliban right. did it. Right. Yes. Let's just have the next question. You're in you denial of reality, you, and you, you had your chance. Your dishonesty. Be fair to the other people. You cannot push dishonesty and call it your opinion, sir. Well, there are such things as facts. Well, well, where's the map that thinks I have it? Yeah. Yeah. Or yeah. everybody else. Yeah. The truth is not boring, sir. And actually, the truth. Ideas have power. Ask Einstein. Is there anything that's one of the Ask Einstein. Whether ideas have power, I will ask him next time I see. All right. <laughs> when you look at the history of the world, the history we all studied, the world history of international relations, it was about war. That's what all those history books are about. The great powers fighting each other, and the kings had a very good time doing it. The wars gave them something to do, and they did it all the time. War between the, the strong and the weak, where the strong crushed the weak. And that's world history. Isn't it beautiful? And the United States found itself alone at the top of the mountain, the sole superpower in this new world. Succeed, together, fail, alone. It's plain as the nose on our faces.